So yeah, in your original email you sent to us, um, you mentioned that you can thank Home Assistant for your job. Like, how does that work? Because I'm sure there's a few people that would yeah. love to do the same. Yeah, so it's now a previous job. Um, I've I've moved on from that company. Um, obviously, the waiting list for this podcast mm. is a while, and um, <laughs> in that year, in that year, I had a year's career at the company, and I've since left. Um, so, if my manager's listening to this podcast, who gave me the job because of Home Assistant, um, sorry, we didn't leave on bad terms, <laughs> on good terms. Um, but basically, I've got in in my CV in, in, um, for when I'm applying for jobs that Home Assistant is a hobby along with a. Nice. Um, I work in IT, obviously, so it's 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 of interest to some people. Um, Going onto, onto a video interview, much like this, what we're doing now, um, with a company, the only place I've ever worked outside of my hometown, um, in the, in a city about an hour away, and um, it was quite daunting because I managed my own IT department, and I was moving, I was transitioning away from that back to sort of like the corporate IT life. Yeah. Um, so I interviewed with them for um, to just be a first, second line help desk um, technician. Sure. And um, it was a bit of a downgrade, but it was I was, it was something I was ready for. Um, but when I interviewed with them, they brought up home assistant, and the, the what who ended up end, ended up becoming my manager actually mentioned that he uses home assistant. So he instantly obviously clicked and started talking about it. And his boss, who was also in the interview, just sort of took a back seat. <laughs> um, and for three quarters of the interview, I just basically shared my screen and watched them through all my YAML code for for Home Assistant. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. At the time, I had a really custom dashboard with um, you know really fancy, um, soft looking buttons on the dashboard and stuff like that. That was all CSS code that I'd copied and pasted from someone else's code yeah, online. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we spent an hour basically just talking about Home Assistant. Um, eventually, they, they actually offered me the job on the spot without a second stage interview because Ooh, nice. of that. Um, and they offered me the job of an infrastructure engineer rather than a service test technician. So it was awesome. a sig- significant pay bump. Um, and it meant you know I could work from home. It, I didn't have to come into the office as much. And I had more responsibility. I was project-based rather than, you know, ticket base and stuff like that mm, right. um, so it was a it, uh, it was actually a massive opportunity which has sort of led me to the career i'm doing now um it allowed me to to progress quite a bit in my career um and it was completely thanks to home assistant that's fantastic that's awesome. yeah that is really cool i always love yeah, hearing uh stories like that like you know when your hobby can sort of, you know, have an impact outside of just, you know, the hobby side of life, right? Like careers and, and all that. Yeah. Well, I mean, that that goes to say too, right? Like, I mean, for I mean, all of us and then people in the community too, right? I mean, if if you're that involved in it or if you do that much, even in your own home kind of thing, might be worth throwing in, in your resume or CV, right? So... Yeah, absolutely. I'd if if you've done even the most basic stuff with it, if it's if it's something yeah. you look at, you know, even monthly, even once a month, uh, you you have a tinker with Home Assistant, absolutely put it in your CV because it shows yeah. at the very least that you have an interest in it and in, in an interest in in IT. If it's if that's yeah. what you're pursuing, it's a job yeah. in IT. Um, but obviously, it opens doors to other hobbies as well, like you know, electronics and. Yep. messing with ESP modules and building your own stuff and even coding. I've, I've heard a lot of people on this podcast code yeah. their own, you know, programs to, to work with Home Assistant. That's something that I'll probably never do, but I, it's something that I'd love to do if yeah. I had the, the mental capacity to do that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it just shows you you work with a lot of these different technologies. It shows that you have an interest in trying to figure out how things work, right? So yeah. Absolutely. I, mean, I think at some point, every single person, whether they're super technical or not, at some point has been like, how does this actually do this? Right? <laughs> when they use Home Assistant, right? Like it's, uh, but opens up that interest even more. Absolutely. Right. So I think, I think, you know, that, and then for people hiring, that might be something good to look towards too, right? Uh, for your employees. So, yeah, definitely. I know for a fact if I was hiring in the future, then the, the, you know, that's the first thing I'd look at is 
you know, I'm not going to, I'm never going to ask you to work outside of a working hours, but what do you do outside working hours? Do you have an active interest in it or is this just a job? Yeah. Is it a, yeah. is, is it a love or is it, is it a passion or is it just a wage at the end of the day? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Of course right. it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, I think a lot of times it's also like people put like, oh, I enjoy like running and this kind of things, which is fine, but it's, it's, this may be relevant to a job that you're like, it's an interest that's relevant to a job that you're uh, applying for potentially. Right. So. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks to that previous manager. I'll wish you all the best. There you go. There it is.